Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, pag-aaralan natin ang Pythagorean Theorem. Pero bago tayo magsimula, pakilike naman itong video. At kung hindi ka pa nakakasubscribe, ay masubscribe ka na. At kapag ginawa mo yun, matutupad ang iyong mga pangarap. Like a cut. So ano nga ba ang Pythagorean Theorem? In a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. So na-apply lang natin ang Pythagorean Theorem sa right triangle. Or so for example, let's we have this uh, right triangle. So merong parts itong, triang itong right triangle. So una itong 90 degrees, yung right angle niya. Ito yung banda yun. Yung opposite side niya, yun yung hypotenuse. At yung hypotenuse, yung pinakamahabang side. At yung other sides, yun yung mga leg. Ayon sa definition kanina, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. So we have the square of hypotenuse is equal to leg square plus leg square. O para mas madaling tandaan, yung legs, sabi na lang natin na yung isa is A, yung isa is B. Then yung hypotenuse is C. So meron tayong formula dito na C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Let's have an example. Find C if A is equal to 3 units and B is equal to 4 units. So itong A daw is 3 units. And itong B is 4. Hanapin natin yung C. Okay? So gamit yung formula, yung Pythagorean theorem, we have C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Okay? So that is, so substitute natin. So C squared is equal to A is 3. So that is 3 squared plus b is 4 so that is 4 squared okay so c squared is equal to 3 squared is 3 times 3 and that is equal to 9 plus 4 squared is 4 times 4 and that is equal to 16 so c squared is equal to 9 plus 16 is that is 25. Para mahanap natin yung C, is square root natin yan, both side. So get the square root of C and 25. And the square root of C squared is C. And that is equal to square root of 25 is 5. Bakit naging 5? Kasi 5 times 5 is 25. So square root of 5 is 5. Oh, square root of 25 is 5. So C is equal to 5. Next example, find B if C is equal to 13 cm and A is equal to 5 cm. Ako so yung B naman ang nawawala. So we have C as 13 cm and A is 5 cm. Yung formula natin kanina, we have C squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So dahil b yung nawawala, so ililipat natin yung a sa kabila. So that is, or lipat lang, o yung b na lang, b squared is equal to c squared, then positive a magiging negative, negative yan. So that is negative a squared. So, b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared. So, substitute natin. So, b is, b na lang yan, kasi yan yung hinahanap. And c is 13. So, have 13 is squared minus a is 5. So, 5 is squared. So, b squared is equal to 13 squared is 13 times 13. And that is equal to 13 times 13 is 169 minus 5 squared 5 times 5 that is 25 so that is b squared is equal to 169 minus 25 is 144 okay so para mahanap yung b square root natin both side so square root of b squared is equal to square root of 144. And square root of b squared is b. And square root of 144 is 12. 
So 12 times 12 is 144. So B is equal to 12. So this is 12 centimeter. Next example, find A if B is equal to 18 meters and C is equal to 30 meters. So yung A naman ang mawawala. Ang nawawala. So B is 18 meters and C is 30 meters. So for sa formula natin kanina, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Yung A naman ang hanapin natin. So yung B naman ang ililipat natin. So that is A squared is equal to C squared. So positive P magiging negative B. So that is A squared is equal to C squared minus B squared. Ako sa substitute natin. So that is A squared is equal to C squared is C is equal to 30. So that is 30 raised to 2. Minus B squared that is B is 18. So, 18 raised to 2. So, A squared is equal to 30 times 30. That is 900. Minus 18 squared or 18 times 18 is 324. So, A squared 900 minus 324 is equal to 576. Okay, so, gaya kanina, para mahanap yung value ng A, kunin natin yung square root both sides. So, square root of A squared is equal to square root of 576. So, A is equal to square root of 576 is 24. Kasi 24 times 24 is 576. So, A is equal to 24 centimeter or meter.